Welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, edit on your phone using a rush, Adobe Rush. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to open up Adobe Rush. Uh, so here it is, are you? So Adobe Rush is an editing software that you can use on your phone. So if I click on that, open it up. Now I've got two tutorials already in here. I've got a hair tutorial and I've got a, a an untitled one. I'm going to use this. This little cog here is your preferences where you can change various things on your account. This little icon here allows you to turn Wi-Fi on or not or off. And these, this one here is about reporting bugs. And this one is basically tutorials and help uh, help via uh, the Adobe website. So I'm going to use this uh, untitled one. I'm going to click on these three little dots. And I'm just going to duplicate this document. And I'm going to call it promo video. Okay, so promo video, duplicate that. And it's duplicated it now. So there's my promo video. So if I click on that. It's going to open up now. I've already put some. I've already put some clips in this document. So I've got um, a, a heading. If you want to delete it, if I just grab it and just delete that, I'm just going to delete. So I've got three clips in here. Uh, if you want to add clips, you click on the plus. Click on media or capture uh, or audio or voiceover, and you can put these things in that way as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first of all I'm just going to click on the plus and I'm going to add a graphic. So here you've got titles, you've got transitions, you've got overlays. So if you want a, for example, a title, you click on the one that you like the most. I quite like this modern title, add media, and it will put it in. Okay, so there's my add media. If you use your two fingers and pull outwards, you can increase the size of this and see it a bit better. If you click and hold, you can move this to the front. And this little play button allows you to play it, so you can stop it. And if you want to edit your text, you just basically double click on the text and it will select and then all you do is just you know you you just literally just put in what you want to put in so i'm going to put the in fashion promo okay so that's my promo um there we go so there's my fashion promo i'm done that's fine um the next bit i want to do is oh i can just select it again and maybe change certain things i might want to go and change the color of it for example um so i can click on color I can have certain bits italic, I can have um, a baseline, and I can have color. So here's my color. So I'm just going to change that to a different color. So it gives you a little wheel thing, thing a little color wheel. So if you select the one that you want, so I'm going to have this. So if I click on themes, I'm going to have this blue color. And I'm happy with that. I think that's changed it. No, it's not changed it. So let's do that again. So blue. Oh, these are themes. Sorry. So if I pick a color, um there we go so that should have changed it theoretically no it hasn't changed it okay um i'll leave it like that then um this there's a blue bounding box so you can make this smaller and bigger so i can make this smaller i can also rotate it if i want to as well so if you want it on a like an angle for example you can do so i'm just going to have it sort of like that okay and again if i take it to the beginning um if i take this back to the beginning play it okay so you can see how this comes in pause it um, the next thing I want to do is bring a transition in. So I'm going to go back to that uh, little app and I'm going to click on effects. And here you've got all these different transitional effects. So literally just um, you select it, you just click on that and it'll apply a transitional effect in between each clip, in each scene. And again, now if I bring it to the front and play, you can see that there was a, a quick transition there. And there's another one there. And if I pause it, Okay, so I've added a transition, I've added a title sequence. Now what I want to do is I want to select this, this second clip and I want to colorize it. So if I click on the colorize icon, here you've got some preset color filters. So you can apply these if you want. Or you've got your intensity and it gives you a little bar. You've got your exposure. You've got a few other things which I quite like. You've got vignetting. So you can add a vignetting onto this. You've got um, a fade. Okay, so you can fade it in and out. Um, you, you've got there's no keyframing on this so you can't really keyframe there's colorization there's, there's a temperature which is quite nice as well there's tint okay so there's quite a fair few color color co co correction tools on this app which i think are very very useful okay um so that's colorization so i've colorized that scene now i'm going to go back to effects and i'm also going to add a transitional effect or a motion effect maybe so i might select this one um and let's see what this one's done so this is now rendering in real time and if i play that okay so that's rendering so let me i'm going to let that render render carry on i'm also going to add a transition so now i've added a transition for this um for this scene as well so if i play that again 
and it's playing through and then what will happen oh there we go there's my transition so there's my next clip i'm going to pause it and this one what i'm going to do is i am going to speed it up so i'm going to click on the speed editor and i'm going to speed this one so i'm going to click on this one and i'm just going to ch change it to 200 and let's see what this does now so if i play from there okay so that's a bit quicker you can see clearly see that is much quicker i'm going to pause it so i've got another scene here i think it's the same scene really i'm going to select that one again and this time i'm going to add a um, a graphic on top so i'm going to click on this click on the plus symbol and this time i'll have an overlay so these are overlays so i can click on this one here for example add that and once i've added it what it will do is it'll add a a overlay on top and again you can select this element and you can make them make it bigger and smaller and move it to wherever you want it to be so if i play it from here now okay so there you go there's a swipe and you know it's like a little instruction basically and again you can click on it and change the wording of whatever you want it to be etc um so you can change a few things on it as well um i'm going to go click on graphic again and this time i'm going to add a transition and this transition i'm going to grab that transition and put it in between uh, and now this time if i play it from this scene to that scene there should be a transitional effect let's play that there we go now i don't want i don't particularly want that one i want this one here so i'm going to grab this one again drop that one back over here and i'm going to grab this one that i wanted and put this one in between go back click on um effects and i'm also going to add so, so i've got that selected i'm also going to add a transitional effect as well so i'm going to add those two as well so now when i play it does that so you see a lot of youtube videos with those sort of effects um you might have watched online um so yeah these are these are sort of kind of transition effects which you can use within your videos which make it a little bit more interesting to watch so there what have i done i've added a i've added a i've added a title i've colorized i've added a transition effect i've made footage a bit quicker i've added an overlay and the last thing i'm going to add is a um, end scene so i'm going to add a subscribe so i'm just going to click on that add that as well and I'm, again i'm just going to just leave that where it is and now when i play from there you can clearly see there's a subscribe and i can subscribe to this my channel for example if i'm on a youtube channel and i can sort of play there so there's my short very very quick tutorial on how to edit in rush adobe rush to um, export this you click on this little icon here and it now unfortunately um if i just show you this if i click on that now this is the bit they catch you out on you can clearly see to export this you need to have um a premium account which is 31 pounds so to export this you need to have this and then you can export this video out so there is a there is a catch here Tadrian. however if you download on your phone and uh, a screen recording app like the one i'm doing right now then you can literally record this on your phones and then re-upload it so um, there's a, there's always loopholes to get around these things it's not going to be 4k it's not going to be 1080p but if you're just watching it on your phone the quality should be reasonably good enough um so yeah that's what i would do um so they will charge you uh, 31 pounds a year to export in ultra hd or 1080 uh, um, footage so you can't essentially export the video out you can edit in here but you can't export out so it's a little bit of a a catch there however just use a um, an app um, like for example a screen record app on your phone to do just record um, what the footage what, what you've just edited basically so any questions guys please do post thanks for watching um, I just felt like this was a pretty decent um, app to say truth to edit um, videos so please download it and have a go use it it's not bad to say truth I just download a recording app to uh, record your footage and you'll be fine tell truth so yeah thanks for watching guys any questions please do post